For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see that how to mount S3 AWS S3 bucket in Linux. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. So you can mount your S3 bucket to the uh, Linux as a local file system. You can use that like uh, copy paste, download. You can also use uh, like from here your file system. You can upload it and you can download it from the S3 bucket like just like your mount point. So where you can use this uh, feature using the um, S3 FS, you have to install it and configure so that. Uh, you can mount your uh, S3 buckets on your local Linux file system uh, just like your local file system and you can copy the data over there so how you can do that using this um, Linux so first what you have to do is that if you have any older um, fuse uh, packages you have to just uninstall them like m remove uh, fuse and fuse S3 FS so if any uh, older packages are there you have to just remove them because um, there are some new uh, packages available uh, for this so you have to install those new packages uh, along with the dependencies to resolve them okay so uh, now just uninstall that fuse and the fuse s3 fs now you can just do a cleanup like m yeah, you have to configure uh, the m using the epl repository or centos repository would be fine so currently i'm using centos repository okay m install so we have to install the c c plus um, plus versions because uh, this is required for compiling the packages and open ssl is required for um, security uh, stuff and uh, lib stdc plus plus is required and uh, curl package is required and uh, xml and mail cap finally you have to do s3 fs fuse there's a package name called s3 fs fuse and fuse fuse table and fuse lips so these are the packages you have to install in order to configure your uh, s3 bucket in order to mount your s3 bucket as a local uh, file system so basically the s3 fs is not a file system the s3 bucket is not a file system it's a object storage but anyway if you want to uh, like uh, upload and download the files that works for us like just like your local file system but that's not a good idea but sometimes it works so sometimes it's required to inst uh, mount your s3 bucket as your local uh, so that you can copy paste or you can um, do some um, transaction in between the um, object storage and your local file system so that that makes you very easy to um, interact with your s3 bucket so that's why we are making this but this is something like a bad practice to install s3 fs and uh, mount it over here but we have uh, still some options to like we uh, for the flexibility you can do this let's see uh, the packages are getting installed so now say s it's almost installing 31 packages with the dependencies so now uh, required packages got installed and just type s3fs and see whether the command is working or not okay the command is working fine for now so before jumping into the mount mounting the uh, s3fs so you have to just um, 
log into the AWS console and set your bucket. So how you can set that buckets and all the stuff. So now I am into the AWS console. I have just logged in and go to uh, S3 and here uh, I have to just set up your uh, bucket. So what is the bucket name you would like to see over here? Let's say that tech ARKIT YouTube something like this. So I'm just going to create this uh, bucket in Mumbai region. Okay, then next maybe if you want to see some configuration options over here. Okay, and uh, set permissions it should be not public. Let's say create bucket so now the bucket has been created you have to remember this bucket name okay so i can easily remember because this is a name uh, the channel name okay so like this you can just uh, create it and uh, go to uh, security uh, options now uh, just you have to go to your uh, aws account and uh, click on here account name and go to my security credentials so here so what you have to do is that um, so here you have to create the another username for your uh, um, stuff like you want to mount your um, S3 bucket so I'm just using this um, username as uh, demo account something like this anything you can use maybe I just say demo uh, S3 okay now I don't want to uh, have management console access for this because it's just required in a program access key is more than enough for me and you can say program access key and next now you have to assign the permissions to that uh, user what is the access you want so maybe i just want uh, s3 full access so that i'm going to add into this group so i already have the group so s3 bucket maybe you can say that uh, purpose purpose is s3 bucket mounting next now create the user so after creating the user you will get this access key and access secret key over here so this this only you will get one time so uh, you, you can copy it now or whether you can download the uh, excel file okay i just copy it to the uh, some notepad file over here and keep it ready with me otherwise you can download the csv file so that your credential with you that's it now go ahead and um, go back to the uh, linux console now you have to create the uh, credential file over here so under this um, home path you have to create the file called uh, i'm just going to create dot password iphon s3 fs is the file name okay here you have to just copy paste your um, access key and uh, this secret key secret access key then with separated by semicolon like this now save it and change the password of that file with uh, 600 and uh, say dot password file s3fs okay now we are almost nearby so or if you want to give some other file wherever you want to keep some uh, file somewhere else you can also keep it because uh, you want to keep this uh, access key and secure access key uh, password with in a separate file that would be fine you can uh, do that as well so now let's mount the um, uh, bucket over here using the s3 fs and you have to provide the bucket name tech ark it youtube this is the bucket name and um, now you have to provide the mount point 
so maybe I just create a different mount point over here say s3 bucket something like this and say s3 fs and bucket name now uh, provide the mount point so this is the uh, mount point name over here and options you can provide the option over here is that uh, password file where is your password file is located and uh, provide the password file name path other so this is the way you have to enter it and now you can see this please follow us on social networking sites if you have any technical related questions you can ask